Here in the beautiful wilderness of the Kananaskis, I'm going to be trying out the uh, Aquabound Aerial Major. I'm used to a paddle that's like very well geared to just river running. So I'm definitely adjusting to it, but I do like it. Um, and I'll keep using it before I really give too much feedback on it because I really want to uh, really want to get to know the paddle really well and really get, you know, refine it. So yeah, let's check this out. Simon told me to test the durability of this at any means necessary.
Yeah, that's always fun. So my initial thoughts on this paddle, um, I like it. Uh, it's definitely different than what I'm used to. So what I'm used to is a shaft that the paddle blade is actually down here, head of the shaft, so that it gives you more reach with your strokes, uh, much like a Gala Sport. So I've had to adjust from that because I feel like that is just beneficial for river running. Like it's just, you're going to get more power. You're going to get more reach. Um, I find with rolling with, with a blade like that, it's coming further out of the water when you go do your roll. So it's just a very different feel. Uh, this blade um, is kind of a hybrid. It's kind of a hybrid of a river running paddle but also like a play boating paddle as well so i actually found that it was not lacking in power for sure like especially this major blade like um it felt very similar to like a powerhouse for me um but what i did find where it really excelled was when i was surfing or playing or like doing tailies um the tailies were crazy. I, I found that I was getting, I didn't have to, I found because the blade was here, I had more uh, torque when I was doing my pry and uh, way more control. The blade would actually stay um, engaged and I was actually really shocked at how much uh, control I had, like way more than um, that other kind of style of paddle. So. Um, yeah, that was, that was something I really enjoyed. Um, waves, I found that, yeah, once again, more engaged uh, when I was doing my, you know, like my strokes, my uh, ruddering. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. And I really liked, uh, in a hole as well, uh, holes for doing uh, backs, like doing spins and stuff, flat spins, all that. Um, the blade really like once it was engaged, um, I found it, I found I had a, an immense amount of like, uh, power on the back of the blade. So, um, I really like that. So, um, really like that. Uh, rolling with this paddle was just different. Uh, honestly, I'm just used to a different shape of a shaft kind of thing. And, um, so it's minor adjustments for me. I really have, I haven't had any difficulty rolling with this, with this paddle at all. Um, I will say one thing that I've noticed and I've, uh, this, this was kind of given to me like when I was like at the pool and stuff, when people hold this blade, they're actually surprised at how heavy it is. Um, it is heavier for sure. Um, there's, there's, uh, no doubt about that. So, what well what I will say though is that yeah it is heavier for sure it is um but on the water I didn't really notice anything uh I wasn't ever like god this this paddle's so heavy I I can't do anything with it like it it really wasn't like that so um yeah it's heavier it's not it's not going to be this crazy lightweight paddle but it's also it's not that heavy either you know um, it's just when you compare it to other paddles that are carbon fiber and uh, this this is just a little heftier. Um, it could be from some of the coating that they put on this, which I do love. Uh, this coating, I love having grip. I don't need to put wax on my blade. And I really like that because I find, especially when I'm wearing pogies, uh, when I have to have wax on my, on my paddle shaft, it's... Uh, it, it, it gets too hot in the pogey and I have to constantly take my hand out, cool it off, put it back in so I have grip. This supplied grip the entire time. So, brilliant idea, really. That's a, I, that's a really good idea. Um, it feels super durable. I whacked this thing off a bunch of rocks. I should show you the other blade. It's actually, it's actually um, took a bit of more of a beating. 
shot. Sorry, Simon. I mean, it's not that bad. But see, it took it took a bit of a beating, but really, like that's nothing. Um, like the edges are not at all like wearing down or anything like that. So I'm actually I'm actually pretty sure this is going to be very durable. Um, just based off of even like I've only used it on the river once, but I can kind of tell already just just how how it's uh, looking that it'll it'll stand the test of time even in Gord's hands. So um, yeah, I love this, and I love that it goes to uh, sorry oh god there's water in it. Uh, I love that it goes to zero from from like basically 90 to zero or 60 to zero. Um, most paddles are going to be in that range. Uh, other paddles with with this system, uh, they'll stop at 50 because they're more made for slalom. So uh, yeah, so I do like that they did that. This is super durable. This this does not feel flimsy. It, it's uh, I, I really actually like what they what they did with this. Um, so, so yeah, all in all, um, I think it's a good paddle that's gonna kind of do. It's kind of gonna do what it's made for. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good for play and it's gonna be good for river running. It's kind of like there's always like where if a anything, uh, any product where where they gain in one area, you'll lose in another. So it's all about finding that balance that you want. Um, and I'm going to continue to paddle this and use this and really actually um, really get to know this, get a good feel for it so that um, I can really continue to give good feedback or bad feedback. Wh whatever I find, I, I will share. Um, but yeah, so far I like it. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about in regards to this thing? Um, play that, that, that. Yeah, um, another thing too, so I, I heard they're going to make a straight shaft. Uh, so a lot of people, a lot of people who tried out the pool session, uh, they were just not used to a bent shaft. So that they, they were kind of like, I don't know about, like, it's just because it was bent and they're not used to it. So um, a straight shaft, I think, would be really interesting for people to try. And also, I'm really thinking that... Um, Perhaps if uh, this this becomes more successful um, with Aquabound, maybe they could make a paddle that is is more geared towards just river running and like slalom that kind of thing, and then may, and make it lighter weight, um, and then make a make a play paddle, and uh, then and then have this thing in the middle where you like that makes sense to me, uh, but I'm I am not their uh, CEO, not yet. Um, but yeah, that's my honest feedback and, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. So this minute, it's been eight minutes long. I've been talking for eight minutes. Wow.